guys, Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music, going to break down this song for you guys. A lot of requests for it, and I really dig it. Hope you do too. Also, I appreciate you supporting me with Marty Music, and you can sign the newsletter for free courses, all that stuff. I really appreciate that. Anyway, let's break it down. All right, let's start with the intro. We've got an E power chord, and we'll start it with the uh, one finger E power chord, so open E, second fret A string. And then we're going to use our middle finger on the third fret of the low E to do this kind of thing. So it's just open, third fret, back off, and you cut it off like this. And then you do it again. Then on the third time. And there are two guitar players, so I'm kind of mixing them together a little bit, taking the best of what they're doing. So the full E power chord, you're playing like an E major chord, but you're just muting that G string there. And so then it does that two times. So check it out from the top. Now with the big chord. One other thing about that intro is I taught it to you correct, but it starts on the G note of the riff. So you kind of do a quick G, then the riff like this. And when we go to the E chord, I play now that same riff with my pinky so I can keep that big A power chord. And then the riff is the open E, and we're going to do 3 O on the high E. And you want to give it a little nudgy bend. He's using his index finger. I'm more used to the ring finger, middle finger vibe. He's doing kind of thing. Let's get into the riff. Open E. So open E, then over here on the high E, 3 O. I'm going to grab my middle finger over to the second fret of the G. He's using his index. I'm going like this. I'm going to hit it once. Then a real quick hammer on pull off on that third fret while that middle finger is there. So like that. But then the middle finger comes all the way off. So from the top. So after you do the pull off, you're going to bring it back down and pull off again. Again. And then you land on the root of the scale, an E note, and it's the second fret D. So that's the whole first part. So the other little fill, you're bending the fifth fret of the high E about a half step, and then releasing to the third fret of the high E. So, and then, and that's on the B string, and I'm going five three five, and I'm pulling that uh, first note off. So you put that all together. Now from the very opening, starts on that third fret, but then goes into kind of thing, right? So you could even get really fancy and go. Like 
Now the open chord. Now into the rift. So there's two different things going on on this part. The lead singer is going. So you're just hammering from the open G to the second. It's all the E blues scale, by the way. So da, da, open G, E. The other guitar player, you know, he's filling it out with the A power chord. And then that third fret low E. E big power chord. So. The other guitar player is going. Or. Vibration. Boo da beep doo boo boo. So now it actually uh, the vocals come in and it's just the E hit, you know. Now it does this. The bass player and the guitar player, their feels on this part are different, but the guitar you can go B power chord, A power chord, and then that G. You can play a G power chord with just the middle finger like this, and you're just not hitting the B or high E, and that middle finger is muting the A string. So do 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 but do 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 do. Now it all moves by really fast, so check it out. little bum bum ba dum won't do you no good does twice then back into the and then this again so so forth and so on so what happens is it goes through that cycle and then now there's a new thing which is just based on a a 12 bar blues turnaround, and we're just doing it as rock chords, so a B power chord. So two, four, four. Then an A power chord, which is O, two, two. And then cut it off into the top lick. Now they're getting more raunchy with it and just. You know, just some, some mute outs. You know, a little, some little kind of raunchy little, tiny little flavor licks in there. And then the same thing again. It's like the very last one before this new section I'm about to teach you just goes. Instead of like dun 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 dun, it's just dun 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 dun. Uh, which I think the bass player is playing it that way the whole time. Uh, but now there's a new section, and there's two distinct parts going on. But the chords are the E power chord, and then a G 
power chord. I saw them playing them as bar chords, so you could play like a G bar chord and mute that G string. Right, like that. And then up a whole step to A. And they're just ringing out for a, a long one count, right? So one, da, da, da. It's just a little bit longer than a count, like one, just a little bit longer. Up to A. Then C to B, and we're gonna move over to the A string. So third fret, second fret, but it's power chords. Then C to B, third fret to two. So the riff is in the E blues, but kind of up, well, definitely up here. What's going on there is it's it's this little box right here. So that's on the seven and, and five on the A string. Then seven on the low E. Then uh, fifth on the D. So and then a little thing here. Seven, five, seven, then five on the D again. So check it out. So then it just moves over, and this isn't exact, but it's, you know, he's doing some bluesy stuff here. He just kind of switches it to the seventh of the D. So it's kind of very similar to the first one, just scoot it over. So the first one does that twice, then it scoots over. And it, but it just kind of stays over there. And then it goes up to the ninth fret of the D and then just down the blue scale. So let's see, something else that happens is it goes back again through this form that we've built up and it does the, uh, that riff, but then it goes, you know, it does a little five half step bends on that high E. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, and it just kind of leaves the rhythm of the song and it's just a cool part. So from the top of the riff and it does that, uh, you know, first you've got and then finally. Uh, another thing that happens is there's a little blues. There's a little lick there, and the other guitar player is playing it an octave higher. So if you were playing the lick and you had a... Uh, uh, there's this little tag that just happens one time in the song, and, you, and it's a da 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 into the verse again, and so it's... So... Da, da, 
on the second, it's all E blues scale. Two on the open G. Same thing on the D string, so. Uh, two, two, oh, oh, two, two, oh, oh, one, oh, on the A string, which is that blues note. Third fret, open E. Won't do you no good. And they're just doing soul claps there. So they change it up again. So uh, let's get let's take it from the top. Uh, let's see. Oh, and that lick one more time. You know, so you've got. but it's just clapping, you know? And then you've got the, you know, the section again. Which I guess we could call the chorus. Up to A, and then C to B. Now, there's other riffs that are all still in the E blues scale. So you've got... Uh, So it's all just, you know, similar to, but you're just up here in this position and you're an octave up. So you're on the 14 and 12 of the D and then you're moving over to the 12 of the G and B. And it's not a you know note for note, but it's basically right there in that E raunchy blues kind of thing. So you've got the it's where you're covering the twelfth fret of the B and high E, and then bending the fourteen of the G up with it. So another th time, there's a higher guitar playing very similar licks to that, and it would be... And it's just on the, uh, between the 15 and the 17 of the B. Going up to the 15 of the high E. And then all the way up to the 17. just all right everything's right in the e blues scale let's take it from the top of the song while we're here just so you get the form there's a lot of licks and stuff so i know i'm going over some of the parts fast so we can play the whole song that thing again that thing again with open power chord again with the pinky now now with the new lick Now the B power chord. Again. Now B. And A. The lick.
Also have so you got all that stuff um, you've got the licks then move up to here and also up here but the same thing uh, uh, three quarters of the way to the end of the song it does this again Right? Another thing it does, uh, one time in the song, near the end of the song. So there's just one time later on in the song, and listen to it, and you'll hear it, it's just one time. A, G, E. A, G, E is just like a powerful thing that they do uh, later. So that should get you through, I think, all the parts of the tune. Thanks for hanging out. All right, guys. Thanks again. Uh, also, thank you for supporting Marty Music. Uh, you can leave your requests and for any kind of videos or whatever in the comments below. And hope to see you again real soon. Take care. <laughs> Nothing.